We can use LiDAR data to take a look at drainage control infrastructure built in past projects, as long as we understand that this is a snapshot in time for the moment when this flight was made. Let's learn how to access these data and display them in ArcGIS Pro and QGIS. In the first result for a search for NOAA LiDAR Viewer, we have the Data Access Viewer, and we are going to go to Elevation slash LiDAR. These orange areas are the places where the data are available. Let's go ahead and scroll in with the scroll wheel to our location of interest. Let's switch to our satellite view to help us navigate and then draw our search area. Click, hold, drag, release. And now we have the 2018, 19, and 2012. We want the most recent add to cart. With this in our free shopping cart, we can go over here and then Next. I'm going to keep these defaults, which is a grid size of 1, meaning 1 by 1 meter grid cells, and the value of those cells is going to be the average of the ground returns of the LiDAR. Now I'll say Next, and I'll provide my email. After providing my email, I will hit Submit and wait. And in about 5 minutes, I have this download link, which is a .zip file, which I'll have to download and then extract. Once that's downloaded, I will extract all and place it in an appropriate folder. Now I can drag and drop the TIFF file, the large one, right into my ArcGIS Pro. And that comes in looking like this, with gaps where there's water, and stretched across the range of elevation in the tile that you've downloaded. To view the data the way that we want it, we're going to go to Analysis, Raster Functions, Raster Functions, Surface, Hillshade. First, we need to make sure that the tool is actually pointing at the raster data set that we want. And now let's see what happens with the traditional type Hillshade. Create new layer. That's the traditional Hillshade output, which is generated by shining an imaginary light down in this direction. So you see this side is bright and this side is in shadow, which gives an intuitive picture of the terrain. But now let's make sure we're pointing at the right data set again and change that to multi-directional, which is going to use an algorithm to create a different type of a hillshade, shining light from many different directions, which can give a better picture of the terrain. And now in a blank QGIS project, we can do the same thing. Drag and drop into the Layers panel. And now we're going to access our Processing Toolbox under View, Panels, Processing Toolbox over here, and type in Hillshade. Double click to open the tool. Make sure the tool is pointing at the right data set and run. After running, close and there is our finished product.